Okay, so I've drawn a picture of a box cushion and bearing in mind I'm using Czech fabric, um, I'm going to just go through the process of, well, my thought process for the cutting process. <laughs> okay, so my box cushion, standard box cushion, not a great dooring, and I'm going to go right in at the deep end as well and ultimately have binding on the top and the bottom. Well this is where it gets tricky. With the check fabric I want to make sure that the seat cushion checks match the armrest cushion or whatever you want to call it, bolster cushion. So I've got the measurements of the bolster cushion and I've laid out the piece of fabric for the seat cushion so that I can match up the checks so that when it's put on the boat you'll have the seat cushion and the backrest cushion and the checks should match up. So let's say I have a piece of foam which is 50 by 60 centimetres. And I've got my fabric. So when I'm cutting, what I'm aiming for is to have the stripes symmetrical or central. I'll put some stripes on. So as I'm cutting, I'm not only thinking about where the stripes go and how I'm going to match them up. So I take a measurement from the centre line, the centre of the cushion, and I'll do 50 that way to get the exact measurement, and then add on a centimetre for the seam. So this dotted line will be my cutting line. So all the way round I'm adding a centimetre for the seam allowance. There we go. So the, the piece that I'm going to cut actually becomes 52 by 62. Okay, so we're going to have a um, top of the cushion, bottom of the cushion, that's two of those. Um, and now we need side pieces. So we still want the fabric to match up, so the side pieces are going to be cut from a piece of fabric there, there. And there. And that will be the same width as the top bit. It's not 50, it's 52. 52. Now, for, because this cushion is going to have a zip in it, the last side here is going to be a lot larger because the width needs to allow for the zip to go in and the zip is two and a half centimetres. And for the zip to go in, that also, so, and it has to be longer and wider and this is the reason why. It will be wider because 
the zip needs to go in here and it will be longer because on these cushions there is going to be a little pocket that the end of the zipper goes into that hides it. So something occurred to me last night after I cut out quite a few pieces and that is if the fabric, the piece that you cut and the seam allowance is exactly the same size as the foam, there is a risk that it's going to go a little bit baggy when you sit on it. And doing a little bit of uh, internet search, I realised that if you, if you make the fabric slightly smaller than the foam, um, it lessens the risk of having um, a baggy seat cover. So just slightly smaller. So having made the seams one centimetre all round, when I sew them together, what I'm going to do is sew my seam half an inch from the edge and that will just make my cushion slightly, slightly smaller than the actual foam size. It's not by very much, it's only about three, three millimetres I think. So. hoping that's going to do the trick. Got my centre line so I'm just going to mark up 12 from the centre which is there and 12 from the centre which is there. So I have the first marking so now what I'm going to do is just use the fabric stripes as a guide and go along and just mark out where I'm going to cut. So I shall do that. Let me see. Okay, so 2.5 centimetres using this white line as a guide. So off we go. 2.5. go. So now if I was using plain fabric I would join up the markers with this heat erasable pen and begin cutting but since we have a lovely straight line in the stripe of the fabric I'm going to use this stripe as a cutting guide and just cut along the dots. So for each cushion there are six pieces, a top, a bottom, three short sides and the long zipper plaque. So like most fabrics there is a wrong and a right side. Not ever so obvious with this fabric um, but the difference is on this side it has a so the right side has a very clear chevron marking on this stripe but on this side it doesn't. So I am taking this as the right side of the fabric and the right side means that's the bit you see, that's the bit you sit on. So ultimately our cushion, my cushion, 
will have that on the bottom. See, that's the right side. The right side of the fabric being the bit that you see. And then if I've been clever enough, hopefully, the stripes will line up all the way around. Once they're sewn. Fingers crossed, huh? Cushion of my own. Uh, one, two, three, four. So I'm doing six. And I've got the two biggest ones left. Save them till last because they looked pretty tricky to do, really. But, so here we go. Four down, two to go. I think I got the fabric right. Um, but I have had to go out and get more, uh, what do you call them, accessories, so more piping, more seam stick, more zippers. bit of a problem with the zipper, well not much of a problem, but when you try and put the, when the zipper's been on a roll, it gets a lot of kinks in it. So what I found this morning on my fifth cushion, which has quite a long zip, is to um, actually iron it before I use it. So I've done that. I've got the long zip plaque here, which is about a metre and a half long. And That's the first bit that happens, the zip goes in. Tell you what the darndest, fiddliest bit is. You know when you get this zipper stuff on a roll, is actually getting the the zipper onto the zip when after you've cut it. And I've struggled with four cushions doing this. And today I went on the Encyclopedia of YouTube and asked it how to put a zipper thing on a zip. And it was an Australian YouTube video and they said just cut the corners diagonally and the zip will go on. And hey presto, it did. And I have struggled with four zips. So, thank you again YouTube. way of doing it that's going to make it absolutely bubble. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Ah. 
Hallelujah. Right. So with the zipper all the way up to the top. On this very long. That line there, that's where the zipper's going to sit in that seam with a little plaque over it, it's going to be invisible. It plaque complete. Yeah.